There's to be a demonstration outside Coventry's council house later in protest at a meeting being held there about the idea of a combined authority for the West Midlands region. The leader of the city council is meeting other local authority leaders to discuss the possibility of joining together. The UKIP Euro MP for the West Midlands, Jim Carver, says they've serious concerns, though, about how the issue is being handled. We have huge concerns over how this debate is taking place in private, and UKIP is calling for transparency on this issue. There have been various moves in the past for moves towards regionalisation. They seem to have fallen apart at various stages in the past. And quite frankly, this is a sort of jolly come lately idea. We want a bit more transparency with regard to this whole process. Let's find out uh, a little bit more. Uh, UKIP's MEP, Jim Carver, who's with us on the show. Morning, Jim. Good morning, Shane. Uh, what are you protesting about, then? Well, we see this as a step towards regionalisation with the various promises made by the Prime Minister after the very near uh, close call, shall we say, on the independent Indy ref in Scotland. What, uh, what the plan now is, is to move forward and actually talk about devolution without answering the West Lothian question. Um, it's very important that you know we have before we even talk about how how devolution works across the UK. We answer the the West, the West Lothian question. You know the, the fact that um, Northern Irish, Welsh, and Scottish M- MPs are, are have the ability mm. to vote on English legislation, um, but only affects English only matters. And uh, the plan seems to be going towards regionalisation on the lines, as you know. I'm an MEP for the West Midlands, so I represent an area that covers the Staffordshire Moorlands right way down to Touching Hale and Wye um, on the edge of Herefordshire, right way across the rugby. Um, and, and the plan, really, the way we see it, ties in with a very sort of not very well-known uh, organisation called the Committee of the Regions, a very powerful region. Um, and it looks, from from my contention and certainly from my colleague's intention, that we seem to be heading, we're, we're, we're on a... We're on a sticky slope, shall we say, towards towards regionalisation UK, but actually not on, you know not in our terms. It'll be on the terms of the European institutions. We actually, we'll, we'll see um, eventually, um, you know, local areas dealing directly with Brussels.